Hey everybody, Stitch1993 here, back with another toy review, and today we're looking at the Zerg Mothership, part of the Lightyear Hyperspeed series. This is the biggest piece they have released thus far, and probably will ever release in this franchise. And I've got to be honest, this thing is huge. Uh, we're going to measure it in a little bit. I'm going to go over uh, everything that's on it. And then we'll go over the accessories as well as the uh, electronics to it. Because this is the, uh, up until uh, this year, where we'll get some more electronic hyperspeed series. This is the first and only one that had uh, batteries to put in to make some cool lights and sounds. So first let's look at the uh, parts. Now... Uh, it, this did come with some assembly in here, so you had to attach this handle piece right here, and then you had uh, eight pieces of these little wing tips you had to install. So you had uh, the these two top ones and these two bottom ones on um, both sides here. I'll get a little closer, better picture this way. Showing you the other side. So you had to install these two and then these two on the bottom here and there was some reviews online that made me a little hesitant to get this at first because they were saying the uh, wing tips uh, come off very easily but I have not actually had any issues with it yeah they are a bit loose as you can see here for these bottom ones uh, the top ones are pretty sturdy and in place there for the most part but uh, they are once you get them in there uh, the lock and then it's kind of it, you're not going to just be able to pull them out I'm, I'm really tugging on that there uh, the main reason it's kind of loose is because this is also kind of part of the landing gear see here in the front you do have two of these little landing gear pieces uh, that kind of flip in and flip back out but uh, the back here, they're kind of just built in to the ship. So when you land it, just like that, it just kind of sits on these. And that's why it kind of gives that little give there so that it uh, keeps its shape when you pull it up. But as it lowers down, it kind of turns into landing gear there. So, uh, it doesn't come with a Zerg figure, I know, Zerg Mothership without a Zerg figure, but it does come with a Zyclops and its little launcher here. And it's actually really cool, so I'm going to show that off really quick here. So you have these, all right, there you go, you can see them now. So I have these two little red buttons here on each side, and those can be uh, pressed so that one of the little Zyclops figures in their little in their little pod does get released. I'll release the other one too. Just to go ahead and show that off for you. Now it only comes with one. And hey, that one actually landed. Awesome. So we're gonna look at those really quick here. Now uh, these did come out uh, as as a pack of two back when the hyperspeed series first came out. You had one that could open manually and then one that was like the one that came with the ship that landed and released with a little trigger at the bottom here so with the Zerg mothership it too came with just one of these pods that again was one of the ones that had the uh, release mechanism in there so it's nice to now have two of them because I was kind of disappointed that for some odd reason there was one that I guess for display use you had that did not have the release mechanism in it. So how do you load them? Well you take the bottom right here and it's got these two almost hidden compartments they just kinda get are molded right in there and you can flip right up the lock in place there and then there's not even any you, you don't even have to like make sure that these are locked in or anything like that. You just kind of drop them in there and close this one back up. Make sure that they are all nice and snug there and just, there we go. 
Um, any, the other part of the ship is these top compartments here. There's two of them. And you can use it to uh, fill with more Zyklops. Or if you have a Zerg figure here, you can pop them in here. So they just kind of pop open like such. Uh, there's nothing in them. For some odd reason in this, um, this, this one right here, it has this kind of little radar piece. You can't move it, take it, can't take it out. It's not a button or anything, so I don't know why that's in there because it's not in the other one. And from what I can tell, nothing can connect onto it. I don't know if it's for a, a future set or if it's for something that was originally going to come with the ship and then they just cut it at the last minute and didn't have enough time to take that part out. I don't know. So now, lastly, we're going to go with the electronics and then after that I'll measure it. So you got this nice big old red button here on the left. I would have liked if, or, or wished that they had made a, uh, the button maybe on, I don't know, somewhere else on the ship that's a bit more uh, central. So you got the one red button right here, uh, but you, the other one's just a painted purple like the rest of the ship, so it, it looks a little off uh, if you got OCD like that. So anyways, uh, you got this on off switch here at the bottom. You're gonna show turn on and uh, gonna sit on the back because now we're gonna press the button. And it has a couple, so we're gonna go through through some of them. Uh, that's the only button that makes any noise here. Um, you don't have like when you press the release, uh, nothing uh, makes any sound if you press the release buttons to release the pods. Let's press that again. And it's great, it lasts long enough so where if you pick it up and you can make it fly around, make it have that noise. Let's do that more. Just love those sounds. They're really good sounds. Uh, Alright, so last we're gonna let's go ahead and put the little feet back down on it. Last we're gonna measure it. And I'm gonna do a little comparison too. So take out our handy dandy ruler and from tail to tip here, ooh, it is about We've got about over a foot and a half, foot and eight and uh, eight and a half inches, to be exact here. So this is a big one. If you're collecting this series and you want, make sure you have enough uh, room on your shelf. Uh, just to give you an idea, here is the regular Zerg ship that came with Wave One. Put that on top. like so and then this is the XL 14 light year ship I'm just gonna sit that right there look look at the size comparison of all three of these this thing is huge uh, I would highly recommend of course if you're collecting the hyperspeed series you cannot miss out on this ship here uh, the paint job is pretty basic. You've got purple on the top, gray on the bottom, some green detailing here on the sides, and of course the, the buttons are red and there's a little bit of red detailing here on the sides as well. And then of course the uh, red tips, but then the rest of it is just kind of blank. It doesn't even come with any stickers. Uh, so uh, as I said, some assembly required, but Really, you can have fun with this no matter what age. And yeah, um, later on, probably in about a year, uh, I'll do a full-on review of all the hyperspeed vehicles. But I just, uh, I got this one for Christmas and I just had to talk to you guys about it because I just am in love with the ship. 
here, probably my favorite out of the hyper speed series. That's not one of the light year vehicles. Uh, the, uh, number 14 is, of course, my favorite hyper speed vehicle. So this was, I want to say, $40. And it's probably gone down in price since then. And uh, so, yeah, definitely recommend picking this one up if you haven't already. And let me know down in the comments uh, if you got this and what your thoughts are on it. I love it, as you can tell. And what's your favorite hyperspeed vehicle? Is it the Mothership? The Zerg ship? One of the Lightyear hyperspeed vehicles? And uh, until next time, thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.